to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. What's going on here? JC Penny feet? No. How did you pick those up? Did you say, yo, get them, man? You got these in the size 11? You got white shirt size. Those in the size 11? You don't get your white shirt size squawking ass out of here. He got two cuffs in his pants. Boy, you are crazy. He rolled them up twice. JC Penny. He rolled them up twice. He dry car Michael, Jim Jones, and Mano snapping on each other in the hallway. Yeah, oh, yeah, the hallway. yeah, I was worried it would never end. Well, I'm too soft spoken to get my shit in, and like my shit. You is did more a good questions. job though. Nah. My shit is more questions than like I, I'm like in a in a Jones and like yeah. roast kind of situation. I'm more like, okay, well, how did you come to your decision? Like, it's not <laughs> for <laughs> soft spoken. Like, <laughs> meanwhile, and meanwhile, Ugh. Jim, the lobby boys are literally attacking oh, him, hard. and he's holding his own hard. It was amazing. It was like a. It was crazy. The, the immediacy of which the shit talk started. I'm still shaking. It was yeah. amazing. It was like, <laughs> like, like, like middle school. That used to be like my anxiety going to like school. Like, <laughs> like you walk into that, you're like, all right, here we Yo, go. Why is your shirt buttoned up yeah, yeah, so much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's Just going like, on with well, that yeah, windbreaker? Yeah. And what year is that from? And yeah. stylistically, you guys could not match any less. No, I like that. I, that that I like, was the nice thing. And I, I like that, you know, everything you have on should lead to a question. Like it shouldn't like wash away. I like I appreciate that. Like oh, you notice my jacket and the shirt and the pants and, and it's like that's fire. Oh, like oh yeah, I appreciate it. it. But Thank you, you. Had, but, but actually, it's true of your outfit today. Like everything is noticeable. What is the deal with the jacket? Like is that a specific vintage? No, no, I got it the other day. Like it's I, right I, now. That's I'm right like now. I'm like Hillary Banks. Like I like wear things once and like <laughs> get real excited about things. <laughs> and I remember that I wore this green Montclair when when I was here before. And I, and I'm really big on a going to wear something like I knew this was black and I got, so a, I got a red undertone so, so like I wear Listen, things that, that pull is from a different that level of and then like white reflect whatever yeah wow so uh, <laughs> a, a lot was made of your new stand up yeah yeah how do you feel about that I mean, that's the most what, what masculine. Was made of that it. was the most masculine way of being like, "So you gay, nigga?" <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, well, kinda, actually, kinda, we discussed. We discussed. <laughs> we actually going. So you're gay now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. It's, but it's not a now. It's not a no, now. no, no. It's, it's, a, you, it's an well, always. I was gonna ask it's you. Always. It's yeah. not a now. It's an always. No, it's an always. It's it's a thing that I came to. The now was I was ready to say it. Right. Right. Like, like coming out. Coming out. It, it's not that that's a big deal per se. It's more that it was my biggest fear. Like I didn't think. Well, I'd that's ever why do I framed it, so. the question that way. Of like, a lot was made of your special because yeah. it's a big deal for you to decide to share with other well, people. Well, the man facing his fear, like like my special, the synopsis could be: man who's afraid of heights jumps out of an airplane on HBO. Right, <laughs> right. It's exactly. You know, like yeah. it's essentially yeah. that. Like, oh, I'm gonna face this because I yeah. don't want to. And like, you know, everybody's in the closet about something. Right. So like, you were just in the actual I was closet. In the closet. You were the real closet. The real closet. Now, so so can, so um, t what you was? Just say congratulations. I'm really excited for you. Okay. <laughs> well, no, actually, no. I had the funny. Oh, okay. I had the funny. We had the funniest thought about you. What? Remember? Do you remember the last time you came on? I busted your balls and was like, "I know you're Illuminati. You must be Illuminati." Bro. And then when you came out as gay, I'm like, "He is Illuminati." <laughs> you gotta stop that shit, bro. That's that shit. Niggas be thinking you suck dick to the show, and like you gotta, no, no, you no, that's gotta a joke. stop that shit. That's a joke. That's a joke. You know what's funny? I'm like, bro. I might would have if I like if you if knew that I, was an option. That was an option. Like Jesus Christ. Like I had to. We could have expedited this I did, shit. I right? tried to do it twice. I had to make it as straight, then come out and like start over. Like, yeah, that's a really good point. Because yeah, if you yeah, had done yeah. that from the beginning, yeah, I could have just. It would have been a, got on David Geffen Bolt and been <laughs> happy. <laughs> I fucking love that shit. Yeah. What are you talking oh about? Like, so, Illuminati's real. I would love to be in. So, it. so what was your um, <laughs> what was your process though to to getting there? Like. Um, and I mean that like personally, how long have you been aware? How long has Gerard, the person just yeah. been aware that you were definitively gay? And then what was the process to eventually telling the world? Well, definitively is a, that's a good word because I didn't want to be defined by it. That was the fear. The fear was that that's all people would be able to see. That's all people would be able to talk about and blah, blah, blah. And I want to be defined by my intelligence and my talent, and my ability and whatever. And it's like, it just felt like a distraction. Um, and so it, it took a while to feel like I could, to be comfortable enough to say it and still feel like a man. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like to still like not let that uh, feel like my masculinity is crumbling mm -hmm. because of it. Because being gay is hard because like, especially, I mean, just in the world, but in, in comedy or whatever, because it's, it's so masculine. 
you know, like it's such a, I mean, hip hop, whatever you get, like these are like masculine sports. Uh, and uh, being gay is considered to be like a woman and it's considered a weakness. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? That's why like, that's why like female comedians and female rappers like emulate men. Like it's it's aggressive and it's like what it's like when y'all talking to like Rhapsody. It's like no Rhapsody is just the one that's not emulating a man. Like right. like it's like why is Missy and Lauren Hill so unique? It's like because they're not like holding their nuts. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like right. and it's such a masculine thing and to conform to that is usually necessary. And uh, I had to be comfortable enough to not. So did you fight? Did you fight it? Away. Like as a kid, yeah, where I you fought it my whole life? I fought it my whole life and I had experiences, uh, but. Uh, which I'll like talk about more probably on stage when I have like more runway, but like, right. But, um, yeah, I, I, I knew, I knew I, I, I wouldn't have called it that. I, I guess they were like urges. They were like little things like, cause you try and cleanse it. I was born like Southern Christian, you know, Ooh. in the church. Yeah. I was just going to ask you about your family. Like, oh, the whole pray away the gay yeah. thing and all of this. Oh, all of, I'm sure my mom's doing that right now. It's a birthday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure her one wish. <laughs> so that, so <laughs> I know what the candle wish so is good about. I, and, which is why I said a lot was made of your special, right? Because as somebody like myself who has been in and around gay, lesbian, yeah. LG, my entire life. I'm from yeah. Northern California, so... Yeah. Yeah, that's a different. That's I'm like a, so. Even today, I have like to France. stop myself. It's like an ease to sexuality. <laughs> like <laughs> I have to stop myself sometimes because people will be like, "So and so came out." In my mind, I go, eh, "Okay, yeah, it's not a thing." Yeah, but I know it's a thing for that person. It's a thing in households. Boom. It's right. So I have thing to stop myself from. Right. Yeah, and from, we're not. I got to stop myself from minimizing it because I know it's important. Because in my world, it doesn't. I don't care that some what somebody's preference is. Yeah. It doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. But it's different because there's so many things that play a part in it, right? Because uh, my, uh, I have family members who are obviously gay, but I saw their journey into thinking right. how yeah. to <laughs> see uh, how they were going to come out. Neighborhood? Yeah. You know, uh, That's a huge. Re religion? Huge. You know what I mean? Huge. And um, and your social circles. You being know what black, I mean? Being black is hard. You yeah, know, like, yes. like it's black very, man. It's, yeah, yes. yeah, being Ooh. a black man, it's just like, this is exactly what Dr. Umar thinks is happening to them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Lord. like that shit is like, <laughs> it's like in me. So like all the, the hate that I could experience is already, I've ravaged myself. You know what I mean? Like, I, like through religion and, and all those things, like I've like lived in hell. For that, mm. so it's it's yeah. so really so. How big like was personally? How much literally? Like how much more free do you feel after having said it? Or were you already out to people? Like I, I was out to my my close friends. Close uh, friends. Okay. Yeah, I. It, it is liberating. Like it is. It's freeing to to say that. But then it comes with responsibility. I actually start feeling more responsibility than mm. ever. And also, there's some personal shit that comes with it because. Saying that, saying I'm gay, which are important words to say, and people do not say them, um, uh, it feels like a line is drawn in the sand, right? And and for some reason, that's like the sin or the thing that people just like, hey, I can't. <laughs> really? So I, it, 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 it's some, you know, um, and, and it's, you know, that makes it difficult. Uh, so there's balance, right? I, I kind of appreciate that. I appreciate that, like, at, I guess, like, uh, at a certain one of the peaks of my life is also a valley and you know mm. it's, it's bittersweet i guess yeah a little bit saying. a little bit yeah but, but it you feels were, very adult being adult kind of is accepting some bittersweet shit yeah, it's like go. waking up in the morning yeah. knowing just all types of shit is just wrong walking into and a just, day and just knowing today's gonna be a shit day it's but some walking real adult forward thing, and yeah. like making the best of yeah. it yeah yeah, yeah. you yeah. know what I, like, so I, in the last few years since I've seen you, mm -hmm. I got divorced. Oh, you, well, congrats. You became and I gay. mean that for real. Like That's, <laughs> oh, a, oh, that, that's oh. also freeing in a way. Well, yes, it was it's freeing. It was an interesting and congrats experience. congrats to her, You learned a lot. <laughs> no, no, yeah. congrats, to her. congrats to her. Congrats to her, for yeah. sure. She yeah. came up. Absolutely. Um, but, <laughs> no, but, but, it, but it, and I'm not trying to compare this, obviously, no, to, no, being, no. to being no, gay. Please. But this acceptance of, for me, the divorce is a, I don't know if, Shani, I don't know if you feel this way. It's like a, it's like a check on your record. Like a scarlet as an adult. letter. It's in, like in a, a scarlet yeah. letter to a certain extent. Yeah. And obviously. You come with baggage. You come with. And neither should be the case. Like, it shouldn't yeah. be that for divorced people. And it certainly shouldn't be that for gay people. But the point is, being an adult is accepting things that are uncomfortable. Yes. And it's like, that is yes. who I am. That is exactly yes. who I am. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Don't hide from the truth of it. And, and the hiding is just. 
that's hell. That's did, what hell is. Did anybody hit you up afterwards? Like, oh my, bro, like other gay people, like, bro, we could have already been talking about oh. this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> People, or like, the other way, like, yo. Yeah, so uh, I was thinking about hollering, like, so it was oh, good. that's so funny. I, I, I'm, yeah, not, <laughs> not really. Like, people don't really have a way in. I'm, like, really, like, <laughs> to, like, I, I got a couple reactions on, like, Raya, this dating app, like, just from girls that I matched with yeah, yeah. that I just never messaged back. <laughs> they just hit me like, oh, now I understand. Wait, so, why <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so like, why were you on Raya, for example? Was that all just appearances? Well, I mean, well, you could go either way on Raya, but, like, that, well, but, right, yeah, right. a lot of it was. A lot of it was, like, I, I was on a track, if you will. Like, I pl if I stayed in North Carolina and didn't move to L.A. and didn't feel comfortable enough coming out, like, I I would probably be married, like, have a couple kids. The dangers of that, you know what I mean? Like, I know my father is too, so, like, <laughs> I'd have a lot of kids. <laughs> right, know, right, like, right. Like, and, and just, I don't know, I would have just lived, I just, I don't know, I would have lived the lie until... Now... There are men. Sounds horrible, right? No, and it's, and, but, and, and but, you're so now, right. But there, are, but there are men. This is a real thing. There are oh, men. Oh, it's happening every day around us. And I wasn't even gonna say. I wasn't gonna say like what do they call it down low. I wasn't. I was saying no. men that are gay to their partner who is mm. a woman, mm. and they have children. Mm -hmm. Like that's a thing. Yeah, yeah there's where, agreement. Where gay well, well, men no. have children with women, and 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 well, a, new, have a, new agreements and new. I mean, right. culture. Like, look, we're we are intellectual beings, and obviously, once like immediate needs are taken care of, society will adjust to like the whims of our intellect, and we'll be able to reconfigure relationships and and social dynamics as makes sense for us for us to live comfortably. Um, so there's all types of poly and yeah. arrangements and those types of things that's really cool but i think a lot of people still kind of follow the yes traditional, traditional. but i was more yeah. speaking to yeah. if do you still as a man have a desire to have children like there's many different versions of that yeah. and well, be a family I had, man i had a moment where i like realized that like like as a comedian a young comedian you know you always kind of talk shit about kids and fuck your kids and whatever and i was like oh wait i talk shit about children because i really want them and i can't have them naturally and it's devastating but you me. can though well i mean i can't i could I, that's a whole other thing yeah. about design because i'm already uh burdened by the responsibility of designing my own life yeah, you know, by nature of my chosen career and, yeah. and being closeted, vegan. so it, it's just a lot. That's another decision. It's like, but you'll get there. How old are you now? I'm 35, but it's like I haven't there, bought a house. Bro. Haven't like bought a house because I don't want to like choose a doorknob and like cabinet <laughs> things. It's just so much, right? But that's why. Uh, but yeah, that's why. But that's why a good partner and a good. You know what I'm saying? And and starting to build. And you'll get there in your time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, this, is no, all, no. this is very or fresh, not. by the way. I have a, what's that? I said, or not. Or, or not. not. Yeah, I have a, that's I fine. definitely have like a longing for affection that uh, that I realized is like, that's the gayest thing about me is like <laughs> kissing a hookup on the forehead. It's like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? <laughs> No, well, you yeah, it's not the, the time. time for this. <laughs> like, like, there's like this longing of like, oh, am I a little bit that, that's a so little funny. starved? <laughs> By the way, I totally identify with that. I'm like yeah. the biggest cuddler. Want what's, I what's want? It like, are you seeing someone? Do yeah, yeah, I'm like seeing. I'm seeing a woman, and well, I, I, you don't have to. Now, now everyone's just <laughs> wow, saying wow, I'm seeing a woman. woman. You have we to like draw the line and make sure straight. Well, you thought he was trying to holler at you? <laughs> no. Oh, come on. You're my friend, not my type. Oh, uh, yeah. No, no. Chance, I, chance. Now you feel some type of way. You're not even his type. I know. Now Crazy. I didn't do anything. I'm not no, yours but, either. But, but, but it is, I've always considered that, for lack of a better word, I wouldn't describe it this way in 2022, but I guess I'm going to, is that I there have been qualities that I've always thought of myself as somewhat, quote unquote, gay. Yeah. Sort of wanting yeah. to, close affection that's not sexual. Yeah. But think about that. Wanting the, to just cuddle. That why that's that not gay. gay. But, but I think I men, mean, I think... We're thought of we should be trying to fuck at one every of the moment. Of, I'm a big cuddler, man. I hold hands. One of the, like, tenets of traditional masculinity and what the internet would, I guess, say is toxic is that, like, any form of consideration is considered gay. Correct. So, like... Even even for your woman, that's somehow gay. Like to show oh, yeah. affection for your girl is gay. Like so, like the yeah, fact that I thought about my so is toxic gay. But that's <laughs> toxic masculinity yeah. is fucked up. Uh, yeah. I, so yo, me ways. and my lady will lay in bed and hold hands yeah. all night. Yeah, that's beautiful though.
Like and, and, that's and, actually a bridge too far. I'm all <laughs> lying. I mean, no, I'm just yeah, saying. Like, no, we fall just, asleep like no, that. Look, or we're just look, cuddling no, and no, we fall no, asleep. Look, there's like, something I'm learning because I always thought that I was. There's this term called ambivert, which is kind of introvert and ex, extrovert, and I always thought that I was I was that, and I needed time to recharge alone before I faced the world again. Mm -hmm. And then I have moments with people sometimes where I'm like, man, like, oh, this is its own recharging. You know, like when you when you're with someone and you're like holding them and like your body temperature feels the same and like you're breathing with them and it feels like your air is their air and vice versa. And you're kind of like one and you become one being. That's a, a beautiful thing. And I get good sleep. All my friends and relationships get excellent sleep. <laughs> is that, is that what you think? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Because some, some people that, have real temperature uh, disagreements. Like that, they were like just someone to tell you to come to bed. Right. You know, like you know, it's nice. And then there are other people who are like, "Don't tell me to come to bed. I'm I'm watching my program." Yeah. <laughs> and then when, then I battle the responsibility of a relationship. It's all fucked up. All like right. This. Um. But I, I, I do want to say to conclude this piece of our convo today. This felt really nice, too. I yeah, like that. I, I do want to say that I am a firm believer on designing your life mm -hmm. by your standards. And it, and, it, and 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 I and I'm proud of you for doing that. No, for, for taking that. those steps. Like I appreciate that. You know, um and, But you and, have to you have to be really it's a burden. It, it it's is hard. A, but but the burden is knowing and it's the responsibility like when you when you design your life because a lot of times you you can think you're doing it, but you're still following a template. Like I, I thought I was away from religion, but I still yeah, say no. A it's in there. It's so program. It's in the program. My neck. Like there's. Yeah. There, like it's it's embedded in you. You know. And, Same thing and so, when we talk about uh, deprogramming white supremacy in society and these things. It's yeah. all. It's so deep. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like such a. I was gonna say to Maino no, because he was like clowning my outfit, and I was gonna say to him like, Oh, you think you chose your outfit? Right. Like he thinks he chose it, but he he didn't. Like he wore the Balenciaga sneakers, which aren't that good and emulative of like Nike, you know, because they were Balenciaga. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not because right. like and because Mano they're popular. Like, like what? Yeah, it's like what does Mano want? Damn, that's he still, yo, by the way, <laughs> and that's the name of your next special. That's the name of my next special. Yeah, by the yeah. way, he still got his shots in. Who? Oh, right the, there? Yeah, oh, right yeah, there. He, he still, still got his shots in. Even I, it. I told you I'm soft-spoken, but here is a camera. <laughs> um, okay, so the, the... I know. I know when to get it. <laughs> the, the topic I truly wanted to ask you about. Yeah. How you of all people are the perfect person to ask because you're one of the smartest comedians I know, and it's oh, good, that's a smart lot to start out with. Yeah. But this whole comedians have sort of on one side against cancel culture... Yeah. And then this other perceived cancel culture, which we can't even decide if it's a real thing or not. It's I not. just, I wonder whether I personally, as someone who tries to be funny for a living for eight hours a day yeah, yeah, yeah. on two different stations yeah. in front of half an audience that hates me and would like to cancel me. Yeah. I resent the fact that the comedians think it's so fucking hard to not get canceled. Because, because <laughs> by the way, literally what I'm doing is harder than you every yeah, yeah, single yeah. day. Yeah, oh, no, here we go. Now you're going to no, war. No, 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 Jesus no, no, Christ. Not all of them. Because, no. but not all of them are complaining about it. But no, I'm just curious. Am I, I, I don't, I don't disagree with you. I don't think. I think that. I don't think the boogeyman is real, and people will talk about whether or not it exists. It's just like, just say you check, you search your name on Twitter. <laughs> That's what everyone's doing. <laughs> right? Like searching our names and then battling with the person who disagrees with us or the group. Or doesn't or like us. Right? Or doesn't like us. And that's the only, you could have a thousand compliments and one insult and you'll only, if I check the YouTube comments on this, like someone's going to say some shit, then I'm going to be like, what? <laughs> you know, like whatever. <laughs> and like, it will affect you yeah, more than all the positive comments. In your head. So that's why like you have to make the decision to engage or not. And like, the comedians that are forging this war, this self-created war, I get it. It's good for like ticket sales, and it's good to like have a mm. have an opponent. And you, it, it's, it's yeah. Trump. I, I it, just it's found like, myself yeah. telling somebody yesterday that I feel like it's more about comedians trying to draw a line that yeah. you're not going to tell us what we can I, and can't listen, joke about. All the power to you. Like that's the that's the thing, you know. But who's trying to tell them? This has been going on for. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's not no, real. Like, it's, it's not real. real. They the created is, an like, enemy. Look, right, right, right. What he's saying. I, right. you know what I mean? I've always believed that you know this whole cancellation thing. I it's it is made up. The court of public opinion has no jail, right? So like, if people are mad at you, it's probably good for business. To be honest with you, like any type of criticism is probably a good sign that like you're interesting in some way. Um, but like. The fact that you could uh, that people think they can get canceled is false because like you can go to jail 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Actually. Harvey Weinstein didn't get canceled. He went to jail. Same like, with the, R. Kelly. R. Kelly <laughs> went to jail. <laughs> yeah, but they you know what I mean? Like, that, crimes, that's jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, everyone else is on tour. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you might have had to change venue size. Sure. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Maybe certain green rooms feel like jail, but you are not in jail. <laughs> yeah, that's not well, real. Well, how do you feel about comedians that are not gay making gay jokes? Um, do you feel like comedians should be able to speak about whatever they want? Yeah, I, I see it all the time. Like, I mean, I'm like, man, I was the gay one, and like, these niggas talk about being gay <laughs> incessantly. Like, it. <laughs> there is like an obsession with it. I get it. I get it. Um, yeah, I mean, talk about like they can talk about whatever they want. Like, right. Just be funny it's and be your smart. Hour, it's your right. venue. It's your shit. Like, do it like this. You and know. do it and be funny. Yeah, it's it, it. At some point, it becomes like petulant. Like it's like it's like children. Just like why are you mad at me? It's like why are you focused on it? Like don't y'all have families? Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's not civil rights. Like people conflate like these niggas not. James Baldwin, he's not Malcolm X. Right. Nobody gets shot. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it was a weird shit can happen at a show, but like. I mean, fine. literally, the worst tragedy that's ever happened in the history of comedy was Will Smith storming Chris Rock yeah, at the Oscars. Yeah, yeah. It was comedian 9 yeah. 11. Yeah. Oh well, my God. I mean, that guy, that, the guy that just went after Dave is pretty well, scary. Yeah. That, now, that, that, that is but scary. Those, those things happen, you know, sometimes, you know, look, it's live performance, people are drinking, uh, and, uh, you know, every now and then you're gonna have like a Whitney Houston bodyguard queen of the night situation. You know, <laughs> things get really out of hand. But like, it, it's not like you know a lot of the attack. A lot of it is just well, and, and some of what I'm hearing too is also like kind of what what is it called? Like the cheap pop or like the lowest common denominator joke. Mm -hmm. These kind of like easy, well, low hanging I'm, fruit jokes that yeah, are kind of yeah. like you know that it's a divisive, yeah. sensitive. Space, I used to so you kind of go a in lot. there. I yeah. my act was all, and here's what's gonna make you mad, and oh, you mad at this, and blah blah blah. And I was a petulant child. Now I'm a man, and I like to talk about me. I got my own shit to figure out, <laughs> like my own personal things that you know. I I think working out on stage is funny and interesting, and but, but like. I don't just I don't need straw men. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? Like I don't like But I, but you admit that it, you moved on from you you grew yeah, from a yeah. place. I mean that's just the thing. That's all exterior, that's all like right. finger waggy and just like and at some point culture changes too. Like, you know, yeah, like at some point you have to acknowledge too that like uh the role of a comedian is like dispersed amongst like a hundred million Twitter users. <laughs> And like IG accounts, and a lot of this shit's funny, you know. Like Pataya's fantasy world on IG is one of the funniest accounts in the world. Like you know, like I love shit like that. Like, but like, what people and audiences expect from you and want evolves over time. There's still a baby art form. I'm trying right. to grow it. Like I right. think comedy can still grow. I truly believe that. What do you mean? But, but grow how? Well, I think I think it's like. I don't think it's evolved much since the cat skills and there are these arbitrary lists of rules of what and a comedian got to blah blah and a comedian is this and that and it's just all made up it's all made up and you know um you get to define what it is look there are tenets of the art form audience performer relations that are true and and i try really hard to be funny uh but you know you create it be creative <laughs> you know right, right. It like, doesn't have to just like, be this one thing. Yeah, it doesn't have to be this one thing. And like, yeah, yeah. Just these false equivalent arguments just are silly. Who, who in the game right now is someone you watch and and really makes you go, wow, just wow, I, that's incredible. In in comedy, yeah. I don't know. I have like weird pockets of shit that I love. Like just like. <laughs> I, I watch like Tony Roberts videos and laugh a lot. I watch like <laughs> Tony Roberts. Like great. All Duff Digital has this show called Roast Me. And the early seasons are so fire. Like they just like it's like Jim. <laughs> it was just right now. <laughs> oh, it's so aggressive. Like I, I love shit <laughs> like that. Like, like those things make me laugh. Like, yeah. Uh, but but comedians, I mean, yeah, I mean they're they're obviously great ones. They're hilarious people out there. Um, but Usually it's personal. Like it's usually when they it comes from a personal place for me. Cause then there are stakes. Like, you know, I like comedians that talk about themselves or their family, even if it's reflective on their outlook of the world. Like those personal things are that's prior. That's Cosby. 
those things are everlasting. Yeah. Everything else is like headlines. I love uh, Gaff again for that, actually. I mean, I know everyone thinks of him as just kind of yeah. a food comic, but his family stuff, yeah, yeah. Neighbor being Nazi a beaten and, down and, father. And Shane Gillis and those guys are like, you know, Sebastian Maniscalco, these guys. Are he's, he's like, I mean, yo, he's, yeah. it, it, Maniscalco at this point is sort of having the, the mo he might be the guy yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. But after you guys say thing, Gaff again, I, but I didn't I'll know say, none of the names you, you mentioned. You don't know Sebastian Maniscalco? No. But, no. but I'll say, but here's the thing, part of the reason, because the truly the resonant things are a little bit of both, right? Where you offer something personal at stake and then it reflects your view of the world, right? And so, like, a lot of those guys kind of steer away from, and respectfully, like, more dangerous things. So that's like... They're, they're both, yeah, very yeah, safe yeah, things. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more family. But, like, again, comedic, you define it. Like, I feel like I'm for adults. I like, <laughs> like, making for adults with complicated lives, smart adults... <laughs> right, like, like I, yeah, but I guess I, I, I think I, I think I've had a new appreciation, and for like you got Sebastian Maniscalco, just I think his specials are on Netflix, along with one of the things. Yeah. But he plays the garden now; he's gotten to that level. Yeah, yeah. From straight comedy, he hasn't done big movies or anything like that yet. Like he's just a comedian. Yeah. And I was watching a special of his a while ago, and it was very safe. And because of all the controversy there's been recently, I had a real appreciation yeah. for the lack of offensiveness of it. Like, yeah. he's talking about pop culture but, and real but, life but, things, but, but it's not it's not trying but to I, but anger I'm saying, anyone. Like, so for instance, like Louis C.K. So you've gotten soft, is what you're saying? But, a little no, bit. No, <laughs> but but you take a comedian like Louis C.K. or whatever, right? At like at his peak, the reason he was so resonant was because his comedy had personal stakes when he talked about his family it seemed a little dangerous and mm -hmm. he talked about his real life and and he's a good example of both sides right the reason he's uh, less resonant at, at this very moment is because now he's just telling jokes and he's removed the danger like the high wire act of it and so now it's just like that like He's talking about himself, but he's not really talking because about Because the, the most personal we stuff we're avoiding. Yeah, so now yeah, we just got to tell yeah. jokes. And so now he's just telling jokes because he's avoiding something. And so, like, Chappelle is, like, the fullest extent of, of, of self-avoidance popularity. You know what I mean? Like, just, like, dodging whatever's inside, whatever kind of shit. But, like, you know. Wait, you said Chappelle's dodging? Well, I mean, he... You know, I mean, like when we say, like, a oh, comedian talk, I mean, we're mostly talking, like, Chappelle or Ricky Gervais or those guys, like, you know, who... Uh, are so concerned with like the sex lives of everybody else and like you know nothing about them mm. um and that's their choice but like like you know dave you know dave has an asian wife uh, that's been mentioned before yeah, right you know, like, has, has, like, joke, but, but, like, but you don't whatever, know he doesn't spend his time living course, in personal yeah. space it's more well, he commentary spends, in the like, world three specials talking about other people's <laughs> shit which is a <laughs> odd hill to die on but by the way whatever. you literally just summed him up some and i understand as a comedian you speaking on that is somewhat controversial but like you're literally saying exactly what I felt. I was just like, I get you have feelings on it if you want to include it as a little thing here. But now it's come up as a major part oh, of like three straight you specials. Google his name is beside it. I mean, listen, anybody in the camp's got to be like, Jesus, like doing that again? Like you know, like <laughs> we like, get this last like, special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I find it to be an odd hill to die on, also. But. Well, I, I, yeah, I, and Gervais got into it a lot on this one too. I didn't yeah. see Gervais. Trans I just saw he the likes, headline. He like, Gervais like, like he he likes the. But he, Gervais is all. I mean, he's both, an anger. He likes to pump. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and Dave evolved into. He did some things early on, but both of those their styles are poking and prodding in places that a make people uncomfortable on both ends. Yeah. The, either the person you're talking about or the person you're you know not the people you're not talking about yeah. that are just kind of like in this taboo space. Yeah. But yeah, I mean that's just not you. That's not who you are as a that's comedian. Your right to do that as a comedian. right like poke whatever bear. Oh no! Listen, <laughs> I, I saw. Don't do it. Like, I fun. saw Gervais a few years ago. I'm a. I'm a big. Fa I, I was obsessed with The Office, the original British I Office. I love when he hosts like uh, award shows it's because great. he's roasting comedians. Well, like, well, because he's like. It feels alive and it feels dangerous. It feels in that dangerous. Room. That's yeah, a yeah, great yeah. point. Yeah, in that room, it feels. Dangerous. But I'm not gonna lie. When I saw a special, and I love the guy. Like I think he's been great. I'm not reviewing his current special. I didn't see all of it. I saw five minutes of it. But he made like Holocaust, and he does a lot of Holocaust jokes. I mean, an entire bit on Hitler that was one of the funniest Holocaust bits I've ever yeah. seen but I'm not gonna lie it takes me time to be like he's not even Jewish yeah like but, it's it, yeah, it was it takes yeah. a second and, for me to and, be like and, uh, and look in some ways that's part of the reason it's fun. look there is a people want like people like the danger of it you know what I mean like it's like like the thing is they're right to do I guess 
if there's any issue, it's like, just don't have like false anger about the backlash. It's just like, well, you wanted that. <laughs> like, right. It's right. obviously what you wanted. Don't, like, you don't put up anything. the smoke bomb and yeah, then understand yeah, why yeah, people. When you write a fucking 10 minute Holocaust bit, like, you, and people come away like, I don't know if that was kind of, that was yeah, a lot about the Holocaust. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's like a white person that's, saying, but that's the key. it's like a white person calling you a nigga. Like, well, you know what you were doing. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, like. But that, I think that's the key in all of it. Yeah. The key is you set out to 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 create something, so that people would feel some type of way. Yeah, and when f people feel some type of way, then that, positive then or negative, you, then mission then accomplished. Mission accomplished. Right, right, right. Don't be mad that your mission is accomplished. Well, that yes. but that now we're getting to the crux of why I don't like this cancel conversation because it's saying I want to say these things, and then when those people who have the right, right. to get mad get mad, you go, oh no no, I'm the victim. Don't cancel me. Yeah, that's course. that well, to that's me is weak. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's that's hiding though. It's supposed right. you got to at least just stand there and take it. That's you right. did it. Yeah, but that's not an interesting show. Accountability. Man, <laughs> right, right, right. Are we talking about accountability? <laughs> no, no, no yeah. accountability. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Jarrell, yeah. what's what's um? You have a movie coming out, don't you? Man, I have a movie that's out. It's out uh, right now? Yeah, it's out right. Well, it's in select theaters, okay. which means like mostly on the coast, <laughs> like New York, LA. So you can see it here. You can you see, see it here. see it in LA. Maybe San Francisco. I think it's still in Austin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but like it's the most indie movie of all time, but I love it a lot. It's um, It's been described as a dark comedy. Uh, but it's, uh, I think it's really funny and aspirational. <laughs> like it's mm -hmm. about two guys that make a suicide pact on the last day. And it's, uh, <laughs> I know I, I, I breeze past the synopsis cause I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's really funny. How is it, it? It's, it's called on the count of three on the count of three and how, and how serious, like how serious is it and how much comedy? I is? take it very seriously. And that's what makes it funny because it's like people, it's two guys, Val and Kevin who are intent on like ending their lives at the end of the day and uh that's the goal and that's the plan and everything is is done you know their bucket list items are all done with a serious intent but like anything that gets super real it gets really funny <laughs> because because there's a tension it's fun to play with like bursting it in moments and like mm -hmm. any any laugh is like a welcome release in the movie so it's a it's a tense film that like if you like dangerous things, I think you'll. And really which which it. one are you? I'm Val. And who's Kevin? Uh, Christopher Abbott, who's uh, I think one of the best actors of our time. This is pretty cool, Gerard. I want to see seeing you. Good sir. to see you. Good Yo to man, see you. thank you for coming yeah. by. Thanks for having uh, me. Come back anytime for sure. You, well, it was great having you, Gerard. <laughs> thank you very, very much. Thanks for having me. Yo, give me. it up one time, <laughs> man. Are you, are you done with the prep sheet? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna bring the belt. Please bring the belt.